Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is inspired by my friend, the very amazing, talented, and inspirational David Garibaldi. He created this painting of Wonder Woman and posted it on his Instagram and ever since I just fell in love with it and I had to recreate it. So today I'm starting off with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I wanted a very pigmented foundation and concealer. So I'm just applying it as I would regularly just do my makeup. So taking a dual fiber kabuki brush, I'm just going to blend in that concealer and using the Anastasia uh, Cream Contour Palette, I'm going to highlight uh, the high points of my face with the lightest color of the palette and I'm gonna be using the darkest color of the palette. Wonder Woman does have such a strong contour and such strong features that that's why I'm using the lightest color and the darkest color to really create a high contrast. So I'm going a little bit crazy with the contouring cream. I'm contouring my nose, contouring the eyes, contouring the sides of my eyes so that we bring out that bone structure and really reshaping my face to create strong features. So taking some of that light cream color and I'm placing it on the jawbone to create that strong jaw feature and taking a beauty sponge and just blending it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can shimmy, I guess, if you want, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going for that fake caricature look. And taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I'm going to go for the center color and just set all of the light cream contour um, that we placed earlier. And taking the dark color on an angled kabuki brush and I'm gonna set the dark cream that we set uh, to contour the face. And taking that same dark color on a smaller angled kabuki brush, I'm going to contour the sides of my nose. Again, I want my features to be very, very strong and to have a strong contrast. And this is gonna give us that illusion of a fake character face. So I'm just taking a white eyeshadow and I'm basically just concentrating most of the color on the brow bone. And now taking a gray shade and I'm basically gonna apply it on the crease of the eye. This is gonna create a strong creased eyeshadow kind of look. I don't want it to be an actual eyeshadow, just the appearance of a strong crease. So now I'm taking the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this blue color and just applying it on the lid and diffusing it a little bit with that brush. And taking a gray and popping it on the side of the eye to create a more diffused kind of blue smoky eye. And this is the acrylic paint that I'm using. I'm using that middle color, the gold and the yellow, to create this custom yellow that you see here. And the reason why I wanted to do acrylic paint rather than Halloween paint was because I actually did test out Halloween paint first and I didn't think it was very pigmented and I just didn't want to spend $100 on like the actual pigmented stuff if I just don't do those types of looks very often. <laughs> so I figured this would be more practical. So now that I got somewhat the basic shape, I just went over it with a paper towel and cleaned up the edges a little bit. If you get a little bit on your hair, you can just um, slide it right off the hair. Um, it's pretty easy to clean. Um, again, I've worked with acrylics before in the past, so I kind of know what I'm going to get. So if you do decide to go this route, just make sure you practice first so that you can kind of get a feel for how the paint works. So the star was probably the hardest um, part of all of this. It was really hard for me to freehand the star. But anyway, now I'm just taking a black uh, paint and I'm outlining the entire um, crown here. And I'm using a smaller fine point brush to outline the star as well. And next, I'm gonna take this gold color. First I tried out the brush, but it wasn't pigmented enough, so I did used my finger and I put it all over the yellow 
and I got a little messy with it but I did like how the eyeshadow was kind of settling in the creases of the paint and I'm just gonna take this brown color on a brush and I'm gonna apply it underneath the crown here just to create a bit of a shadow effect and I'm just taking a regular black eyeliner felt tip and I'm creating fake lashes um, this part was pretty fun too, just creating those fake cartoony eyelashes. I will be putting on fake eyelashes as well. So just continuing on with the black felt tip eyeliner, I'm creating um, lower lashes as well. And I'm outlining the eyebrow and creating that strong black eyebrow. Um, shape. I did like using the black eyeliner because I felt like it mimicked that um, comic book brush stroke or pen stroke if you will. Um, so now I've already applied the red lipstick and I'm taking a white eyeliner and applying it to the lower waterline and taking that same black eyeliner and I'm outlining the lip. It doesn't have to be perfect because again, we're going for that very free hand kind of cartoony feel. And I'm taking white and I'm just highlighting certain pieces that I want to highlight. I'm highlighting the lip to kind of give it that cartoon glossy high color effect. So now taking just a regular craft brush and black paint and I'm outlining my jawline. This is actually doing multiple things. It's reshaping my face and it's creating that caricature line that we want to go for again. So applying some lines on the side of the nose and on my cheekbones. So now I've already applied lashes and hair and I've put on my costume. To darken my hair, I use this temporary black hairspray and basically, oh, it's so messy. I don't recommend it if you're going to be outside or sweating or if you get caught in the rain because it will be a hot mess. It does, it basically dilutes with the water and it will, oh, it's, I don't recommend it if you're going to be outdoors or sweating. But anyway, I'm just taking this NYC uh, liquid eyeliner and I'm just going over the eyebrows because I thought the brows looked a little bit patchy and needed a little bit of help. So taking the black paint, I'm now drawing on uh, necklines and a fake collarbone just to kind of look a little bit more cartoony. My costume is a one piece. It's a dress and I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested, but I just think it's so cute. It has like a blue skirt and a red chop. This concludes the Wonder Woman makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you recreate this look, I would love to see it. Tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my information down below. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing and safe Halloween. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.